Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Hobby CNC with Dave Show. Man, y'all are so many comments, I can't even get through them anymore. Uh, got lots of folks here tonight. Welcome, everybody. Uh, let me start off by bringing the uh, rest of the gang in here. Wolfman's back with us tonight. How you doing, Ryan? <laughs> Doing good. Uh, Paul's in the house. We have two Pauls in the house. We've got Paul number one he is Paul Corliss from Paul's Missy Workshop. And the other Paul is this Paul, a.k.a. De Hammer. And then we got Sean joining us as well, too. Welcome, guys. Somebody fill in about two minutes of time so I can get an email here. Somebody sent me <laughs> <laughs> so somebody talk and say something while I'm uh so Paul, what do you uh hammer quiz? Uh what what have you been cutting recently on your laser? Uh a bunch of stuff. Uh storage, Valentine's, Perfect. um <laughs> all, <laughs> uh give a little sneak peek. Like here's one of the roses I did. Nice. So, got your backer and gonna figure out a cool way to paint all that. So, give those to my daughters and my wife. And then I got a big one I'll be sharing a little bit later. Sweet. Okay. Um, I guess the other cool thing is Hacker Box or Pie Box Pie. Oh, Just a okay. Holder with a uh, twist on top so that's like yeah okay i've seen that i just never have yeah. uh, got that one off of there okay that email will be coming in shortly i i think i still got this open over here yeah so i'll have some more to add to the pile here got quite a few uh quite a few pictures to show tonight mm -hmm. So before we, get, before we get started on, ah, there it was. I just heard it come in. Um, there's Jerry, I think from Las Vegas. How you doing, Jerry? Um, I wanted to, uh, before we get started showing all these uh, projects and stuff that folks have sent me, uh, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor of our live giveaway. And that is Mr. Cody Elkins from Cadence Manufacturing and Design. And I wanted to show you something else he sent me today. So hold on to your socks here. Let me go find it. He, uh, he sent me a new video. Mm -hmm. Look oh, at that. Look at that. All 10 ah, of them. That's right. a lineup. Nice. Nice. Wow. All 10 of them right there. I am digging that little video. I was thinking, you know, I was thinking about that. Uh, and then he sent me a message and, and he sent me one that had, I don't know, four or five of them in it. And I go, yeah, I was going to ask you if you had one that showed everything or because I was going to try to put one together, you know, just can't really show them all at once but i would take the videos he sent me and just put them in a you know thing i could do and then he sent me that and i thought yeah that is that is pretty slick right there That's so not sure how he did that but that is pretty so anyway we will be giving away uh the one of these right here this is the uh Compression bit, quarter inch Jenny bit. And uh, for the hashtag, we will go with hashtag Jenny. We'll keep it simple. Nice. Thanks, Cody. So if you uh, want in on that, put hashtag Jenny in the chat and we will be drawing that a little bit later. In fact, I'll go ahead and get the giveaway thing set up over here. Now, I, I am happy to say I am now the new proud owner of the 8th inch compression. 
I can't wait to play with that. And just because I, I said I would do it, I'm sporting a new necklace. Oh, so is that the, uh, let's see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you better be careful. Those things might be it? sharp. <laughs> oh, they are. Oh, extremely. I'm very impressed on how sharp they are. Yeah. Let's That's just put funny. it this way. I will not go to bed with that on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It, it'll get you like word. Steve Irwin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All righty. Let's see here. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and minimize that. We'll come back to that later. Uh, let's see. What else are I going to talk about? Um, I guess that's it. Mainly the, uh, the thing. Like I say, I've got a few uh, few pictures to show. Uh, let me give. Let me do one, and because I, I want to give this guy a shout out. I think he's out in the in the audience tonight too. So, and I mentioned this uh, the other. Let's see, Wednesday night during the channel member live stream. But I wanted to uh, give him some kudos again. But this, I got a uh, an email from uh, Bill Coleman, who is a channel member. And let me get this uh, picture up here, and then I'll... Uh, read this uh, read this email to you. But he says, uh, good morning, Dave. Bill Coleman here, uh, channel member here, attached our two photos of projects cut with my new Omtech manual focus 1220 R50 laser. Finally got my laser set up, conducted mirror tests, power line tests, ramp tests for focus, and Omtech test card. All my settings on my refurbished 50 watt laser were dead on. Still trying to learn light burn, but well pleased with the results from the first projects. Patterns are from scroll saw, blah, 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 blah. scroll saw workshop. I think that's uh, Steve Good. I think it's who he's talking about there. Um, and material is 1 16th inch basswood project sheets from Amazon. And it goes on to say, enjoy your YouTube videos and being one of your channel members, my CNC routers and lasers keep this. Are you ready for this? 75 year old hobbyist looking to learn something new every day. Nice. So how cool is that? See, 75 years <laughs> old and he's still killing it with the CNC stuff. So see, Paul, you're not the oldest one. The, uh, you know, I just I'm feel like there's him. there may be some hope. <laughs> there may be some hope for me too. But here's the uh, here's the other project. But these are uh, scroll saw. I cannot say that fast. Scroll saw workshop. I'm pretty sure that's uh, the Steve Good um, website. He has lots, you know, tons and tons and tons of scroll saw patterns and projects over there, and they are perfect for doing laser work uh i've done done many of them myself but anyway big uh big kudos to you uh bill and uh good to see uh good to see you getting out there in your shop and making something so all righty who wants to go does anybody want to go first i mean i've got some pictures because some of y'all sent them to me but uh Let's see. Uh, nobody's <laughs> nobody's jumping on it here. I need uh, oh, wait. Paul. Oh, Paul, really why don't you? Cool why don't you, Why don't I set you full <laughs> screen, and you can go through and show some of your stuff because I need to move that email over, and I can do that while you're uh, while you're showing them here. So let me set give you the All right. the honors here. We'll do it. We'll do it like this. Put you front and center, and I will go grab that email. Take her. So away. this is uh, 
the first one I've been first Valentine's gift I'm working on this one's for the wife and to cut this out and a bunch of you know got compassion love kindness and her name but this is actually a heart I drew for her for um about a year and a half ago I did a uh, one of those uh edgelet acrylics and then I just took it and ran it the path against it with a pattern but brush and illustrator to make this so still got to paint it but that's sweet. i like how big it is you know nice. still a few touch-ups here and there but that it, it was pretty cool just being able to take an old file and when you were doing those edge lits you know you just you keep the path you don't expand it out and do all that so there was a little bit of touch-up work but it was nice that it pretty pretty easy to just convert over for that. That looks and awesome. Then, yes. This is a cool piece. The behemoth. Oh wow. That is killer. So that's uh twelve and it's pretty thick. It's twelve layers, three millimeter Baltic birch. And gonna go paint it with my daughter since she loves dogs wow. and wolves so i made that for her and i think i'm just gonna get some acrylic get some water and kind of do like a stain so it kind of still keeps the wood and kind of keeps it a natural instead of just solid colors nice on that one there are knob hangers and then the fun ones <laughs> And you got Wharf, <laughs> Picard. Nice. Mm -hmm. But 35 days and I will be in the Pacific on the Star Trek uh, cruise. So these are all uh, for the giveaways and just kind of people you meet. I, I like to be like, hey, here here's something cool meeting you and... Um, so I got a bunch of those and I even got some spray painted white and going to test out how and see how that goes. Cool. Uh, have you tagged the back of those yet? Oh, of the door hangers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're front. You got a alone okay. and then. Uh, <laughs> out see. Yeah. So it's double sided. Wow. That's cool. And it was nice because I just cut them all out <laughs> cardboard, and then use cardboard, set them in to actually do all, to yeah. just engrave them all so I could come up with different ones. And I, I got to say, it was pretty simple. And using that cardboard as a a jig basically a jig. was, it was easy, nice, just, yeah, just to hold everything there. And I didn't have to do anything, just play. And I'm sitting there working away making money for the day job and having fun at the same time. Yep. So, Sweet. oh, and then I know one last thing. My first MDF on the laser. Now, so, this one I actually just cut that out yesterday. Is this a provided file or from box PU or did you design this one or a uh, box PY or PY box PY? They got some really yeah. cool stuff. Did that in there? Oh yeah. So did you? Did you have to? Uh, where I'm going to hang it? Did Did you have to tweak that much, or did you get it? You know, putting in the your numbers. I mean, did you mic your your material? This was like sure the, This was like I did uh, three designs. I was trying to fit it all on a 18 by 24 piece of board. So I, I could really, to get this size, I had to um, go to two boards. That's the smallest I could get it at this size. Oh, well, that's that's perfect. So, all right. yeah, I like yeah. that. And it cut great. I, I haven't cut MDF before. I've just used it as a spoil board or you know just a table so that pretty much uh 
Oh, I guess I got one more Star Trek thing. Kapla. So, <laughs> Kapla. Right. But yeah, what this one's actually going to uh, a buddy on the uh, cruise. So he Ooh. saw and he's like, "Yes, I want it." I was like, "You, you <laughs> shall have it." <laughs> Okay, Dave uh, Clemens but, has a yeah, question. That's really all I've been up to. He wants to know uh, what size is your laser? 22 by 24, I want to say. It's the uh, 60 watt. I want to say it's 22 by 24. Um, pretty sure. That, yeah. Okay. So, um, my is it is it just me or is Paul sounding like a uh, one of those Japanese Godzilla movies? <laughs> That's I, swear I, see, I see his mouth moving, and then I hear him a few seconds <laughs> later. Is is it just yeah. me or is no? Is is one, okay? Two. Yeah, you got a three second delay, two second delay. Is that better? I mean, you sound fine. It's just the the it's not synced with with, with the my video lips. for some reason. We, there you go. There you is go. Is that better? Yes. Yeah. Is it'll sound the same though? Like the same yeah. sound quality. Well, it sounds not different as... now. It sounds like maybe you're on a webcam mic instead of <sighs> instead of the other mic. Are you using voice mod? <laughs> I mean, like I said, your video quality is pretty good, and the the audio is pretty good. It's just that they're not synced up. It's, and that always freaks me out. I think of a I'm watching a Godzilla movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, am I don't think here. the Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jr. Jr. Hit us up with the. Super Chad, and he says, if you've ever set Z off the workpiece when you meant to set Z off the bed, oh. smash that Super Chat button below <laughs> to support that. Yeah. I might have done that once or 30 times or something. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say this week, but <laughs> we know that's not the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Robin says 100 watching. 39 thumbs up. Please hit that thumbs up button. Yeah, the thumbs up button would be uh, good. Doesn't cost anything to use it uh, either. Doesn't cost a thing. And if you do want to spend a little money, those are the super stickers. Yeah, Steve says bring in the yeah. subtitles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's funny. So I guess it wasn't just me then. Sorry about that. Still not sure. No, no worries. No worries. Uh, let's see here. So, um, Paul, did you uh, did you mark your the door hangers with your? Uh, logo or anything like that, or is it? I, I didn't see one on there. Uh, no, I I, a, I try to keep it very like the cruise. That's that's friends. That's community kind of. I'm not trying to make anything or promote myself. It's more just there's a lot of crafters out there. So we actually have one day where we all go and have a room and we all trade uh, different stuff that we've made. Oh, so cool. there's absolutely no Fine. selling. You have to trade you know okay. so people do 3d pins all kinds of different stuff enamel huh. knitting yeah i got a bunch of uh hand towels last year for a okay. few things so cool cool um very cool where where are you uh where's it uh, sailing to uh out of california and i don't have to have my brain on for a week so <laughs> I Doesn't don't care about once it leaves port. <laughs> once it leaves port, uh, it's alcohol, 
there's uh, <laughs> gambling. <laughs> Paul's never going to see any of the ports of entry anyway, <laughs> so, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah I, th I think we're going to Cabo. Or it stops there. I, I really nice. – that's not the main thing for me. It's it's being on the ship. and Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Uh, you know, when he was talking about, uh, you know, trading stuff with the community and stuff like that, do you know what that made me think of? I know what it made you think of. Tell me, oh, yeah. you know what, Dave? You rock. <laughs> That's right. Not just me. <laughs> so do you. But makers rock. And uh, I want to plug the uh, Makers Rock thing. Uh, my good buddy, Matt Haas, which I know is out there in the chat, he did a super job putting this little promo video together, so I'm going to hit it. And if you don't know what Makers Rock is, Matt will tell you all about it. Makers Rock, that is the largest collaboration on YouTube. And if you have a YouTube channel and make stuff with your hands, this is the collab for you. We make album art, like the vinyl record album art. We use any material, using any technique, create a video of us making it, publish it on the same day, and every participant will cross-promote all of the other participants. Collabs are the best way to grow your channel because other people's audiences will see your stuff and vice versa. There's another twist. It's also a giveaway, and it, it's different because we give away the stuff that we create. You give away the artwork to someone in your audience. Giveaways are huge for promoting and growing your channel. Come along for the ride. There's a secret Facebook group where all the participants share behind the scenes. Makersrock.com is where you start. Join us, it'll be awesome. All righty, yeah, I'm, so I wanted, cool. to, uh, wanted to play that because we've got like 102 people watching out there and uh you know some of you may have smaller youtube channels and are working to help your channel grow and stuff and this is a great way to do it like matt said because it's all kind of a collaboration thing everybody cross promotes uh everybody else's channel so super cool thing i'm having a ball working on mine i, I was just telling the guys before we went live here i've got uh i'm ready to uh do some color matching on my painting so i'm gonna have to <laughs> make a trip to uh michael's or hobby lobby or someplace like that and try to get my uh, paint matched up but i am super stoked to do that and i hope a bunch of people uh come and come and do it with us it'd be a lot of fun for uh the more the merrier so that's fun but, uh yeah we've got uh, a few folks here i know uh sean's jumped on the bandwagon and ryan's gonna do one and i already know several people out uh in the chat are signed up to do one so robin's doing one yeah robin um Matt's all he wants one. crafters getting in on it i think um and i can't remember who all else obviously matt's in it but uh i'm kenneth, gonna try <laughs> kenneth's another yeah, kenneth's one he's it. uh He's going to do it. This is a, it's just, the, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, you know, and it's all about doing the album covers, which is a cool, cool thing to make. Yeah. Neat concept. I yes. really like it. So looking forward I watched a couple to, of the past videos and those are, they're just fun. They're so cool. Yeah. Some of the guys come up with some very unique covers. Yeah. I, I went and watched, uh, well, I, th I probably watched pretty much all of them, but I would go through and click on the, the playlist that Matt had put together, you know, starting with, I think, 2016. And then there was, you know, I don't know how many videos in each playlist, but uh, lots of lots of great work out there. So that is. And, uh, and that that uh, watching the video that time, that's the first time I've noticed that Matt has a uh, Star Trek symbol on his microphone you've missed it the whole time i've never noticed it until then i just thought it was part of the microphone <laughs> hmm. okay 
Ryan's admitting he's not a hundred percent geek. <laughs> About ninety well, percent. Yeah, yeah. I try. <laughs> okay. okay, let's uh Let's go ahead and we'll show. And speaking of Matt Haas, I might as well do him next. I've got, uh, he sent some pictures in. In fact, I think he was the first one to, to send me the pictures. What is JR? Because if you think like I do, you know Sean stole that hat from Indiana Jones and it looks better now than it ever did on Harrison Ford. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you, JR. You. Appreciate it, buddy. My ego is overflowing. All right. Let me get these uh, pictures here. Matt Haas sent me some of a project he did. And let's uh, let's also give Matt uh, a shout out here because he is kind of a new CNC guy. I mean, he's been he's been building a Gatton CNC for a while now, but he has, uh, you know, he bought another CNC. I don't remember exactly what it was he bought, but he used that when he did the uh, Christmas challenge. And of course, he was the big winner of the quantum CNC. And I saw him post today that he he uh, finished completing that. I don't think he's ran it yet, but he's got it all put together. It looks awesome. It's looking so. good. Good, uh, good job on that, Matt. Anyway, let me show what the pictures that Matt you see it? This is uh, it's a shark CNC. Okay. Let me uh okay, yeah, I see it where you put all right. Let me go through here and I don't have his I don't know if I've got his. I think I deleted this email. No, here it is. Here it is. He says uh Phoenix logo on the lid card with 90 degree v bit uh and a catchphrase on the interior bottom and there's another you have it close nice. and then here oh that is cool okay. he's got a uh phrase here let me pull it up we can see it best on that picture i think it says a catchphrase on the interior bottom also card with the v bit he says, my friend is a recovering alcoholic, and the idea was for him to place older sobriety chips in this box. For example, he could retire his two-year chip when he enters his third year of sobriety. What a nice. cool, oh, cool thing. Cool. And congrats to your friend, too. Okay. Uh, it says it has round inside edge and magnets to hold the lid closed because I left too much room between the mating pieces. I thought six thousandths of an inch would produce a snug, a snug fit. Boy, was I wrong about that. Okay. Uh, it says it's made from one inch thick walnut to produce a one and three eighths inch tall box. So good job, man. That's. Um, yeah, man. Really good. Very well, nice. Two sided. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta love the way uh, walnut looks. Just. Yeah. 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 Very rich. Yeah. Okay. Let's see who we got next here. I'm gonna go with this one here. Yeah. Matt went from no CNCs to three. I, you know, there. I sent him a message the other day, and I said, "Man, you, I said you keep this up, you're gonna catch up with me because." I don't even, I have stopped and count mine because I have several of them. A lot of them are in various stages of assembly, but uh, got a, got a ton of them. All right. This is, uh, oops, I meant to already click this. Here we go. This is from Michael Murray from Miter Mike's Woodshop. Or is it work, Workshop? Or I never can remember when people put that as their thing. I can't even remember if it's workshop or workshop, but it, uh, anyway, it's one of those two. Miter Mike, and he has recently just uh, finished putting together his Avid CNC. He's got a, I believe it's a five by eight, I think is what he got. And uh, just got it put together, got it trammed and 
you know, spoil, uh, spoil board, um, surface and the whole, whole nine yards. That. So this is a United States Marine says department of Navy, United States Marine Corps. And here's another picture where he's got, uh, I'm not sure that's some kind of stain or I'm not sure what, what, what they might. Like. Is it some of that gel stain type stuff? I don't know. It's the blood of his yeah. enemies. <laughs> and then here is the <laughs> turned out nice. Here's the finished product. Hey, Bobby. So he says this is like his first thing that he's done off of um, his new Avid. That and of course, great. if you don't know, Michael Murray was uh, a Gatineer before he uh, jumped on the Avid train. So good job there, Mike. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Yeah, that, that was awesome. I got a couple here from get this one up here. This is from Ray Dixon. Uh, let me let me find the email here so I can. Uh, where did I? That looks good. Okay, here it is. He says this is a desk nameplate I am working on for my neighbor's wife. Part of a Valentine gift from him. So, um, so yeah, he's got uh, Barbara, and then I think this other picture shows the backside. So it would sit on the front of your desk and face out and i guess you put pencils or whatever in there so that's kind of cool very cool i like how thick and chunky it is yeah it's pretty uh pretty chunky <laughs> isn't it i like that you're gonna put your pens here and you're gonna like it my name's barbara <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's right yeah looks good looks good i like that Oh, did we lose somebody? Uh, Paul. Paul. I think he's trying to fix his audio. Okay. There he's hey, back. There he is. Hey, and then my video died. There you go. And it, it was stuck. Everything was stuck. And okay. So refresh and everything works. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, let's see who else I got here. I got uh, some pictures here from. Roger Brown. I think wow. I saw him out there in the chat. I believe I did. Anyway, this is, um, let me find the email here if I can. Hopefully he did the boat picture and not the easel. That'd be awesome if it was, <laughs> if his project was the easel. <laughs> you just don't, you don't see any of it. I think uh, it's, it's functioning perfectly. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here it says, here are a few pictures of things I have made with my Glowforge and CNC machine. So I think, I think this is a laser job. We know the easel part is, or the <laughs> picture holder, whatever you call it. That's uh, looks like that was done with laser, and then this is oh, some wow. CNC wow. work, I think. So nice looking bench, that looks healthy. I'm digging that, and let's see. Let me make sure, let's go through the email, see if there's any other comments I need to look for. Now, nope, don't see any, and then here is another one. I like that one. Okay. Very cool. I like how that uh, bench design is uh, adaptable for putting whatever he wants on the backrest. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, when I first when I first clicked on this picture when he first sent it to me, I'm like, I thought he was had done the picture and he was just 
propping it up on the bench to take the photo, but it's actually looks like it's part it of is the bench. bench. Yeah. Yeah. Same with this one. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, I like that. I like that. And even this bench. Now, was the other one like that? Let me go back and look. Yeah, I guess it was. If you look close, it's got kind of a curve, kind of an Adirondack or Adirondack style curve to the. You see it? Those sharp yeah. edges. Yeah. Doesn't lean back. I, I know for me, you know, I've made, in fact, I still have some Adirondack stuff setting up uh, in the side and it's worth, you know, how it slopes a lot. It's easy to get in, but when you're old, it's hard to get out of it <laughs> so, because you just kind of fall back into it. It sets a load of the ground, but yeah, I like that. I like yeah. the way that sets up a little higher. Need to make yeah. one of those Adirondack chairs, but it, make it like a, yeah. the old man chair that lifts up. Oh yeah, the easy yeah. lift or whatever they yeah. call it. Ejection <laughs> chairs. Sick. My wife's grandfather has one sitting right over here, so it it may disappear and get put an Adirondack in place. <laughs> <laughs> Take all the gears out, rebuild it. Um. Okay, let me go to see what we got next here. Uh, now, this is a couple of pictures uh, Ryan sent me. It's not exactly uh, CNC <laughs> projects, but I wanted to it show it anyway oh. because it's uh, pretty cool. Now, I don't know who that's. Who is this on the ladder over here? Oh, that's my brother-in-law, Larry. Okay. Well, big shout out to Larry because looks like he's the one doing the work. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, somebody's got to take a picture, picture, right? Yeah. yeah, somebody had to take the picture. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Supervise. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but yeah, and then here's the uh, view from the outside. Oh, so nice. The really coming the... along nice. And uh, looks really good. It's like fully secure. And if you want to get some uh, tips on trimming that out, you can check with Cody. Yeah, you got to talk to Cody yep. some, some tips on, <laughs> on that. <laughs> it, it's, okay. it's kind of a cool milestone because it's the first time that it's actually been able to, like, be fully enclosed. So Yeah, yeah. Been yeah. locked up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's where I keep all my I'm jealous. Right <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All righty. Let's. Uh, Brian, let's just let you know, I think that's the size of my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> it, it needs to be bigger already. Yeah. Okay. You got lots of Christmas lights in there. You can't hang your, your scoreboard up in there now? Oh, yes. Yes. That's still going in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. I've got one more picture here. This was, I think I've just, well, I got some that I did, but I don't know if I'll show them or not. Uh, this uh, is uh, not a CNC project, but this was done by Robin, who uh, is always oh. uh, hanging around out yep. there in the chat. So, Robin, do you want to tell us anything about this or let me come back and look and see? Okay, here's yeah, she did say something. She said it's a box made out of clothespins, hot glued together. Okay. All righty. Yeah, I guess that is, yeah, that is clothespins. Yep. Okay. Uh hot glued together. Then I used my printer to print out a picture of a bee on a napkin and glued it to the front of the box. I applied Waverly wax to the box and then cut paint brush handles with my scroll saw and made flowers, which I glued to the front of the box. For the honeycomb, I lined a scroll saw pattern with rope and then filled the inside with gold ribbon. I cut out a bee with my scroll saw and painted it. Thank you for considering to show my project. Okay. 
Robin is probably the most crafty person I know. I watch her stuff. You know, she does these lives and stuff all the time. And she's always making something cool out of just stuff. And uh, she uh, does a great job. So, yeah, there we go. Also, uh, somebody else who uh, who streams a good bit is uh, Jerry here at 3 dhp He's uh, too bashful to self-promote, but he streams. <laughs> I, I was watching him earlier today, as a matter of fact. Uh, and uh, he was nice enough to shout out my channel, so I appreciate you, Jerry. And I always appreciate you coming uh, hanging out with us here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We got, uh, uh oh, let's see here. J or, uh, JR says, Dave, I emailed you a rare project, rare in that I did it twice. I usually do prefer doing one of one. Okay, well, let me see that. Let me see if I can find where he sent it. Mm -hmm. I did put an, you know, I typically, <laughs> I know I, I fooled Ryan because I typically don't put my email address uh, out in public. Like I won't show it during this show or anything, but I put it in the, um, uh, Facebook thing. It's in the description, show description stuff, but that's not the email address. I uh, address I normally use for everything else. So it, it confused Ryan, I think, because he thought I was, he thought I'd put the wrong one in there. All right. I don't know where you sent that. JR. He might've sent it to this other one. Let's see. If, no, it's not coming in there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe it'll come in in a minute because I don't see it in either one as of right now. So, yeah, not not seeing it yet. So let's come over here and see. I think, uh, okay, that's, yeah, we saw that one. I thought that was something new oh, that was tipped. He tossed uh, up another one. Um, let's see here. Looks like everybody's getting their hashtag genies in ready for the drawing. We'll be doing that here in just a minute. Let me show you while I'm waiting to see if uh, JR's email pops in here oh maybe he sent it he might have sent it through facebook or something ronald cole sent you something cool okay well let me uh i don't even have facebook open so let me look and see if anyone sent it there or maybe they sent it Maybe he texted it to me. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Let's see. I don't see anything in the text either. So I don't know, JR, if you, if you sent that, you might want to send that again. Uh, I've got everybody sending them to Dave Gatton at hotmail.com. That's the email address I told everybody. So, we will uh, be watching for it. And in the meantime, I will show you a couple of things that I've done. Uh, I've done a whole bunch of things, but I only put a, a few of them in here. This is uh, one of the things I finished most recently. Just uh, And this is kind of like the thing Paul did. It's from that boxes.py thing uh, it's just a little thing of three, three no that's drawers. that's also three complete boxes too, or is it just one? 
midday. Yeah, it's, it's, it's each one of these. They're they're just pushed together. Oh, but it's cool. uh, but it's uh, just the bo outer box and then the inner inner drawer. And then uh, during one of the uh, pop up lives that I've been doing, I did these little Valentine things. And again, I think. I think all of these are from, well, let's see, this is, I think this heart shaped one is from, uh, yeah, these are from that Amid.com, I think. Boxes, that, PY has both of these as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does. I got, I, I, now <laughs> I, I'm not even sure. I'm questioning myself where I, where I got them, but, but the, uh, the heart shop, a heart-shaped box has got the you know the flex stuff around there, and then this one has just got a heart that you uh, glue to the doors, and they and like I said, you can see they open up, and uh, that's just a couple of the things I've done. I, um, How did the heart go for you putting it together? Well. Uh, I wasn't really sure how it was supposed to go, but the way I did it, and I don't know if it's the right way or not, because I figured, you know, you got to have a way to get in it or it's not really a box. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, you glue, if you glue it all up and you can't get in it. So what I did is I took one side and there's glue around here holding one half of the flex down. And then the other side, uh, you know, because one side's kind of got the, the little cutouts and the other side's got the tabs so the side with the tabs which well depending on which way it's setting is this side and so you can it holds good like this but you can get it and just kind of pull it out and then we'll open it up and then you could use it and put something in there if you want it it's not not really very practical i don't think but yeah that's why i put the hole in mine so <laughs> yeah 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 but, but the other uh, thing you could do is if you did cut that hole out and then oversize one to sit on top of that. So it kind of has two, it's two layers and it would yeah. sit in there as yeah. a lid. Yeah. I, I just, I think that the box without a lid is considered a crate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your heart shaped crate. <laughs> okay. Might, might be. I don't know. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, I've been uh, been having some fun doing those little uh, pop up live streams. I don't uh, don't really uh, plan them too far in advance. I, I get up in the morning and I come in here and I go work on something. And I go, oh, that's pretty cool. I'll go cut that. Then I'll go ahead and schedule a a live to start within about fifteen or twenty thirty minutes, something like that, and uh, just see who shows up. But uh, it's nothing uh, formal. Just me hanging out there you know playing with laser beams so, so. <laughs> but that uh, we didn't have a lot, of, a lot of fun with that jr said he sent it to your regular email okay well that was he sent me stuff before so that would be this one ah there Rob. it is just now came through so mr schuster's here and I don't know if anybody caught it, but he did have a new video out that he put out, I think it was just today, on a new uh, puzzle piece drum build. Yeah, I watched that uh, this morning. I saw, I saw pictures of it. Yes, yeah, so that's what he's been working on. And it is uh, pretty dead gum awesome, I have to say. I was... As is beautiful. most of the drums he does. I mean, you know, they're all fantastic. And he just keeps getting better and better the more he does them. This one is, uh, you know, all the other ones have been great. But it's like he just keeps pushing himself to uh, to do different and different things. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I got a picture here from JR. And... Okay, I thought it was upside down, but I guess it's no, it's not. All right, let's uh, let's check out what Jr. has done. This is map of Middle Earth. 
Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That is pretty cool. That I like that. Now, now JR, JR didn't give me any. He, uh, the frame too. he didn't give me any scoop on this. So if you JR Middle Earth. Uh, uh, you want to give us any details in the chat? Wait, that's is that Lord of the Rings? Yeah, it's Middle yeah. Earth. Yeah. Okay. I got you got more. Yeah, I was looking at the symbols Roma. around the corners. That's. I'll have to take okay. your word for yeah. it because I don't. <laughs> I, don't <laughs> I don't know any of that stuff. <laughs> one ring to rule them all, when one ring to bind them. Okay. I used to remember it all. We got to remember that Dave's a hobbit. I mean, a hermit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the hermit, <laughs> not the hobbit. So that's why I don't know any of this stuff. Okay, JR says walnut frame assembled the CNC features into frame like corner titles of JRR Tolkien. Yep. Okay. Sweet. All righty. Yeah, that reminds me, guys. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. I want to know how his shop from yeah, here. You go. Along. I haven't seen any pictures of that recently. See, oh, now he needs a wallet to match. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Man, I am, I am so out of the loop. I don't know about any of that kind of stuff. That was actually the first book my dad gave me to read in third grade was The Hobbit. Middle Earth map in the field, custom walnut frame with custom profiles and features. Yeah, that, that's cool. Nice. Very cool. I like how he dressed up the frame, too. Yeah. He says elfish text apparently in the Frame okay. All right. Very good, sir. Yes. Well then. Oops. Okay, let's uh let's give away a genie bit. What do you say? Jenny? Can't have this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I want to say Thank you so much, Cody. You are awesome. These bits are beautiful. Okay, we've got 85 in the thing. If you want in it, quickly put in hashtag Jenny. We'll uh, get the drone here underway. Get you in there. Very cool. Who's going to win this week? I don't know. I'm going to say... I don't know. <laughs> Somebody new. Somebody <laughs> new. That'd be good, yeah. Somebody new. That'd be good. All right, we got uh, 89 in there. It's fairly stable, looks like. So good luck, everybody. Yeah, let's hit it. And here we go. Dave, did you change your pointer to red? Uh, it's Rick May. Rick May. Rick May. Yeah. You know, he, he won not that long ago, and I don't know if Cody ever got a hold of him or not. Uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that that's that's the name. I remember, I remember Cody sending me a message going, "Hey, do you have the contact info for that guy?" And I go, "No, nah, they're supposed to contact you." I don't know. A lot of times, I don't know who these people are. So anyway, Rick, if you're out there, contact Cody at www.cadencemfgdesign.com. Tell him you won tonight, and he will get you a genie bit in the mail. So. 
Congrats. All righty. Now we can sit here and watch the count go down. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's uh, okay. There he is. He's he's still hanging. With it. Yeah, make sure you uh, make sure you contact Cody because I'm pretty sure that you won a few weeks ago. And I don't know if he ever got in contact with you or not, or if you contacted him, but yeah, that's so how it works. Don't, don't contact me. It's all, it's all through Cody. Cause, uh, I mean, if you send me your info, I'll forward it to him, but and yeah. For you 119 contact. people that didn't win, get yourself on the Kate's MFG design yeah. and order yourself. Yeah. Some and let me, uh, let me won't be disappointed. Let me just do Look at that. that. I said it right. I mean, I should be congratulated for getting that right. Right. There we go. Yeah, that is the at, first. Bit. Look at those. Mm. That is so. Pretty soon, you'll even see it maybe a 30 degree bit on there. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'll have to squish those together to get to get another one in there. The 10, 10 bits in that little catalog. Right there, he's got so far. Awesome he's stuff. It's growing growing pretty field, well. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, well, I th guess that's uh, all we've got for you tonight, folks. Is it, hey, we never did have any questions or anything, did we? No, it was pretty quiet. Yeah, pretty everybody quiet. was just looking at all the cool projects. Uh, let's see, what is Jerry talking about here? He's since I won one and bought another, I am not getting in on the drawings unless we do a full lineup giveaway. <laughs> uh, does he have a full set offered on the website yet, or are they still one bit at a time? I think he has some kind of bundles that he runs ever so often, doesn't he? Yeah, I've seen seen Cody do a couple bundles, like a, a 60 degree and the 90 degree or something like that. And, but uh, um, I don't know. We'll have to bug Cody to do a giant bit thing. Yeah. Now uh, ah, he's testing out the thirty degree next or this Monday. Nice. Rob saying the drum was a high risk project turned out better than he expected. Now I saw a link, Sean. You put a link a while ago. Was that to uh, Rob's channel? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, yeah, everybody go. If you haven't seen Rob Schuster and his amazing drum making machine, go check it out. It is, uh, there's a link up, up above in the chat. Okay, good deal. All right, okay, yeah, here it is. Here, yeah. all right, I guess we'll uh get ready to sign off of here. Appreciate everybody hanging out. We've had another awesome crowd here tonight. Uh, like we usually do. And uh, I appreciate every last one of you for uh, coming and hanging out with us. If you've got, if you, anybody out there, you know, I never, or ver I won't say never, but very, very seldom do I ever get any comments on this slide, you know, because this will be a, a video after it, you know, within a few minutes after we sign off here. But if anybody ever wants to put a comment there and say, hey, we'd like to see you do this or that or talk about a certain thing or whatever, let us know. Because we can, uh, you know, we pretty much talk about anything hobby CNC related. Um, I was just, you know, when I got ready to uh, think about what we we're going to talk about tonight, I'm like, well, I wonder what what folks have done so far in 2023. Because uh, you know, hopefully people are getting some some shop time. But anyway, yeah. I guess we'll uh, get ready to get out of here. Anybody got anything else they want to plug or Paul uh, Paul the Hammer Paul? <laughs> <laughs> I have to specify since we got two Pauls now. Uh, you got anything going on you want to plug or talk about? Not really. I, I've i really, uh, I've actually taken some time off for me from doing, uh, you know, videos. You know, you just kind of, I, I hit a wall and was doing some shorts and got clean in the garage. And I was just, 
kind of calming down, but I am working on my uh, CO2, my first CO2 laser video, and hopefully we'll have that out in a week or two and then kind of cool. get back on to reviewing software and uh, doing projects again. Okay. All right. Uh, nice. Sean, what about you? Got it? You got anything going on? I know you're uh, signed up to do the Maker's Rock thing. So have you uh, started on that yet or still in the planning stage or, or what? Wait, hold on. I can, I'll, I'll show that part of it right there. That's it. Okay. I'm not showing anymore. <laughs> yeah. I guess the rules. Well, we're not supposed to show. We're not supposed I... to do any of the stuff unless we put it in the the Maker's Rock. Yeah, exactly. So. And that's where everyone should go to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. I um, do believe I put his link in. Okay. Uh, Ryan, what about you? What do you got going on? You still... Uh, Doing the Christmas light thing? Are you are you about got them all put up or what? We have eight more left to put away. I'm so happy, <laughs> okay. and hopefully that will be all but maybe one or two, like all but like mine and the in laws' house. Hopefully tomorrow. So uh, that that's pretty awesome. Then I can kind of transition back into uh, playtime um, and working on the shop and trying to get that. Uh, ready to go so that we can hang up a, a scoreboard and uh, and have all that kind of fun stuff there. Um, the scoreboard project is ready to get worked on. It just need to have the time to do it. So thankfully Christmas lighting is uh, wrapping up and we'll get back on to the fun stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah. Paul, Paul Corliss, what, uh, what do you got going on? Anything? Is he for us? No, nope, there he is. I'm just thrilled to death that the band-aid on my internet has worked tonight. Okay. All right. And keeping my internet working is the most important thing right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's frustrating when uh when it's just not uh, doing what it's supposed to do. But uh all right. Well, uh, let's see. I wanted to catch this one here. It says Civil Horse 32 said it would be nice if you guys could tell me what you are or tell anybody what your YouTube channels are so we can watch some of your videos. Uh, I don't do anything with your machines, but watching. Well, you know where you're you know where my YouTube channel is because you're on it right now. Uh, let's uh, let's just. Uh, Paul Corliss, let's start and we'll go around the horn. Tell everybody your YouTube channel. And I did toss the link up for Paul. Okay, so you're putting the, the links in. The, okay, uh, yeah. Mine is Paul's Messy Workshop. R. Ballard Designs. D.E. Hammer. Bondike. Okay, and I think Sean Sweet is getting all, I think Sean is getting all those put in the. Uh, Try it. Thing I'm, I, I got a feeling I'm going to miss one here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and like I said, you're you're on mine right now. Mine's real easy to remember because it's just my name. So you can uh, find me pretty much anywhere, and I and I like to do a lot of little pop-up live stream so i got one coming up i'll probably be doing it um probably monday i guess got another uh cool little thing i want to do so if you want to come see what that is come hang out with me i don't know don't ask me when it'll be i don't know the time it'll be <laughs> like i said it'll be a pop-up it's probably ran probably after lunch sometime one o'clock or something eastern something like that so Anyway, that's uh, going to do it for tonight, I think. Thank you all for coming. Thank you guys for uh, joining me tonight. And we will get ready to get out of here. Okay. If I can hit the right button. There we go. Peace out, sauerkraut. All right. Good night, everybody.
Have a good weekend. Bye, everyone.